So you're thinking about moving to Oklahoma or Texas, but you don't know which city you want to land in. I'm Natalie Bratton with Remax First, and today I'm going to compare with you my town, Oklahoma City versus Houston, Texas. So I thought this was going to be an easy comparison between Oklahoma City and Houston, Texas. But then I realized that I'm not comparing apples to apples, even though these are the two most populous towns in their states. Houston is not an apple. Oklahoma City is a small apple, where Houston, Texas is a big, fat, juicy orange. There's really hard to compare. So if you take Oklahoma City and multiply it by 350%, then you have Houston. So I'm going to give you some of the basic facts and figures, but then I'm going to tell you what my friends who live in Houston have to say about Houston and the pros and cons, and then tell you what, if you don't like those cons, why you should live in Oklahoma City. So here we go. Number one is definitely the population. So both towns are about the same size. Both are over 600 square miles. Both are huge geographically, but where Oklahoma City has 629,000 people, Houston has 2.25 million people. 629,000 over two and a quarter million. So a lot more people there. The second thing we generally talk about that is usually in Oklahoma City's favor is the cost of living. The cost of living in Oklahoma City is 15% below the national average. Now Houston, oddly enough, for being such a big city, it is also below the national average. Now it's only four to 5% below the national average, but compared to Dallas and Austin and San Antonio, the cost of living is lower in Houston. So if you go to Texas and that's important to you, Houston is more affordable than the other major towns in Texas, but not as affordable as Oklahoma City. Now real estate prices are not that far apart between Oklahoma City and Houston. It's slightly cheaper to buy a home in Oklahoma City than it is in Houston. But again, Houston is more affordable than Austin or Dallas. Now, as a whole, income levels are slightly higher in Oklahoma City than they are in Houston. However, Houston's sales tax is slightly lower than Oklahoma City's. And in Houston, you don't pay state income tax, but in Oklahoma, we pay 5% income tax. So there's not a huge discrepancy in income levels, and so it's possible that with the lower sales tax and without the income tax, people in Houston may make the same amount of money as we do in Oklahoma City or even higher. Now Houston far exceeds Oklahoma City in racial diversity. Oklahoma City is 54% Caucasian, where Houston is 25% Caucasian. And has a large Hispanic population, African-American. Now, because of the racial diversity, the art, culture, restaurants, uh, there's just so much more diversity in the culture in Houston. I read that there are 11,000 restaurants in Houston representing more than 70 countries. So next time I go to Houston, I'm gonna eat out more. <laughs> Another difference uh, between Oklahoma City and Houston uh, is the weather. Now, both are mostly sunny year round and both have really hot summers. But typically Houston's gonna be five, six, seven degrees warmer than Oklahoma City so uh, if you can't stand heat and you can't stand humidity, then uh, you might want to spend half the year somewhere up north and only spend the fall and the winter in Houston. 
Okay, so since there's not really a great way to make a comparison between these two towns, I did talk on Facebook with seven of my friends from high school and college who live there, and they told me the things they love and they hate. Basically, they love all the walking trails and the parks. There's a lot of opportunity for outdoor recreation. They have a fantastic, huge medical center. MD Anderson is there. Basically, if you need a transplant or cancer treatment or something you can't get in Oklahoma City, you go to Houston, Texas until you're better. They have the beach. Okay, so they beat us there for sure. Now, Texas beaches are not the beaches that I fantasize about when I'm having a bad day and wanna go on vacation, but it's still the Gulf of Mexico and it's still a beach. Houston has a great airport. Basically, if you're in Oklahoma City and you wanna go anywhere in Mexico, Central South America, the Caribbean, you're gonna leave the airport in Oklahoma City, go to Houston, trade planes, and then go where you're going. Houston Airport goes everywhere. Of course, my friends in Houston love the arts, the restaurants, the cultures, the museums. There's just so much to take in when you're in Houston. So all of them but one live in the suburbs because they said the public schools are hit or miss. They love the cost of living. Uh, like I said, it's lower than other places in Texas. They love the e economic opportunity, the job growth, both Oklahoma City and Houston have a lot of oil and gas industry. So that's the correlation of why I have friends from Oklahoma City who live in Texas, is a lot of them are in oil and gas manufacturing uh, within oil and gas as well. My friend Jason says that there's no state income tax. The cost of living is low. He loves fishing and you get saltwater fishing and fresh sea fishing. And on top of fishing, they have great seafood because it's right there off the coast. So basically, you take Oklahoma City and multiply it by 350% and you have Houston. So now that we know all the great things about Houston, here are the reasons you would choose Oklahoma City over Houston. Traffic. They all said the traffic is horrendous. We have traffic in Oklahoma City, but clearly when you have 350% more people, you're gonna have a lot more traffic and the people going in from the suburbs and back out says your commutes could be over an hour. So if you hate long commutes, maybe you don't move to Houston. The second thing is the humidity and the heat. Now, if you hate humidity and heat, you probably shouldn't move to Oklahoma City either. But it's not as bad in Oklahoma City as in Houston. It's gonna typically be five to six degrees cooler in Oklahoma City. It's like 90% humidity in Houston most of the year. Well, in Oklahoma City, we have chances of tornadoes. In Houston, you're gonna deal with hurricane season. It rains a lot in Houston and you have that chance of having hurricane damage and flooding. There are large portions of Houston that struggle with flooding problems. So if you move to Houston, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you're not in a flood zone and that you choose an area where you're less prone to flooding. And then crowds. If you don't like crowds, you probably don't wanna live in Houston, maybe a suburb. Christy mentioned that you learn what roads to drive on and where to go at what times to avoid the traffic and the crowds. We do the same thing here. I just imagine it's a lot worse there. So basically the reasons you wouldn't love Houston are traffic, crowds, heat and humidity, the local public schools within Houston and their class sizes, flooding, hurricane season. But Oklahoma City has those things just at a lesser degree. For more information on Oklahoma City and Oklahoma City real estate, go to my website, oklahomahomeseller.com and get in touch with me. And I'm happy to hear about your plans and tell you more about moving to Oklahoma. Come back next Friday where I do another video where I'm focused on Oklahoma City and its metro area.